A school once known for its powerhouse music program is not going to have a full-time band teacher next year. Pomona High School says it's going to combine all the band classes and have the choir teacher teach them. Steve Staker explains what happened when a community that prides itself on the music it made sees that point of pride threatened. But I want to be a professional cellist. The next step 14-year-old Jack Ferguson is about to take made perfect sense. He is more on the shy side. And I, but I feel like he, he expresses himself through music. Mom Amy figured her son was making the right move, enrolling at Pomona High School. We were very excited about, you know, getting into the orchestra program, and um, he wanted to get into the chamber orchestra. Until she saw the petition floating around this weekend. It's shocking. The Change.org petition calls to stop the cuts coming to Pomona. The school, known for its instrumental music program, is cutting its band teacher next year, citing dropping enrollment. The Friday we were told was an orchestra class, and when we were rehearsing some of her music, we were all crying while we were playing. Erin McGovern is a senior and principal viola player in the school's chamber orchestra. For band and orchestra, and especially in choir, it's our safe place. It's where we go, you know, when we've had a rough day, or it's where we go when we want to have a space to relax. Jeffco Public Schools today called the move an alignment of teachers to fulfill student course requests. Quote, students who signed up for the instrumental and vocal music courses will have the opportunity to take these courses from excellent music teachers who are shared among multiple campuses. So even though I'm not there next year, I want to leave something for the students that are still there. McGovern and a group of other students made the petition. And we weren't expecting to get more than a couple hundred signatures. Jack's mom is one of the nearly six thousand signatures on that petition in just a few days. Hoping her son doesn't have to make a tough choice to leave his friends and transfer somewhere else. The arts community is taking a hit and they always kind of take the hits when it's time to cut programs. Now again, Jeffco Public School says kids are not going to lose out on opportunities here because of this, that the classes will still be offered just by multiple teachers from different campuses. McGovern and the students and teachers protesting this say that they hope that the community will step in here. She says community members have made donations to help make improvements to athletic facilities before. They hope, Kyle, that maybe the community would step up and say, this is important enough to us that we'll step in and mm. help out the school. And actually give money to fund the program. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, you hear them say align to student choices. I hear enrollments, and then are kids still interested in band? It's interesting. The note from the principal to the Pomona community talks about since Stanley Lake High School opened in 1998, they've mm -hmm. steadily seen enrollment go down. And they're continuing to see that now. Part of the reason why they're having to make some changes mm -hmm. here, because in lower enrollment means less funding. Sure. Less funding means fewer positions for for availability. But the other thing here is that a lot of people aren't signing up for these classes is what the Jeffco tells us. The students refute that. They say that band classes have gone up in recent years and that a lot of people are signing up for it. Hmm. It's not an inexpensive thing for a kid to get into and stay into over the years. All no. right, Steve, thank you.